Now we're going to spend some time talking about weeds because, uh, man, if you've got them, and most of us do, it is mm -hmm. really hard to get them under control. Yeah. We have uh, one viewer that sent in a picture. Well, it's um, not a viewer, actually. Who is it? It's Chrissy. So, Chris, oh, so this is my boss. Yeah. So this is a picture. Describe to us what we're seeing. So Chrissy has been on a waging a war against her weeds at yeah. her property that she went out and bought 26 yards of mulch. <laughs> That there Did is, you tell her to go do that? Uh, I told her to use some mulch and to put it down thick, but she, she bought it out of 26 <laughs> yards of mulch. So she is waging war on yeah. it, and indeed, mulch uh, is a great solution. Because what happens with mulch is if you're putting a good layer of mulch, and, and over two inches of mulch, you almost want to be at four inches, yeah. you're restricting light, and you're also suffocating out weed seeds. So okay. what that does is prevent about 90% of your weeds, still weeds are going to grow, right. and reduces watering. Okay. By a ton. And there are so many different varieties of mulch as well. These are from Because Tara. it's going to absorb that water, right? right? Well, between you and me, it better work. She's my boss, remember? Right. Yeah, we'll make sure it works. So, and and I, gave sure her, it works. I gave her a weed torch to burn the weeds on her driveway. Oh, okay, so she, good. Yeah. And, and these are some of the selection that you'll see at a garden center. This is from Tara. Okay. And Tara Greenhouses, of course, are, are, they always have a really good supply. When it comes to weeds, there's so many different types. First off, there are annual weeds and there are perennial weeds. So okay. you take, for instance, you know, the classic dandelion that everybody kind of hates, and this mm -hmm. is weed be gone. That there is a perennial weed. And when it's a perennial weed, that means that you have to dig the root out. It doesn't matter whether you cut it or you trim it, or you're just hoping that next year it's not going to come back. It's going to have a very aggressive root system. And that's why a lot of the times you have these dandelion tools that we go and we go down and we shove them and we pick up the weeds and we get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, annual weeds... That's where the mulch really comes into play because the annual weeds, the weed seeds blow around. Mm -hmm. And with that mulch being there, those seeds have no soil to get down on. A lot of the times people like to put landscape fabric underneath. Does it work? It, it, uh, to me, it's more of a pain than what the, the net benefit is. Mm -hmm. I say eliminate that step and just go with a little bit thicker mulch. You can put okay. newspaper down. You can actually layer newspaper, yeah, put that down that and too. mulch on top, and then that'll help out a bit. But that newspaper is going to break down. Best time to weed. When do you think the best time to weed is? Whenever they pop up. Very good. Yeah. Right? No, no, remember. Because otherwise you are not going to stay on top of it. Exactly, because one weed becomes two weeds, becomes three, mm -hmm. becomes four. So you should be setting some time aside to pull those weeds. And if you see them, you've got time to pull those weeds. Yeah. After a rain is so great. And the reason being is after a rain, the soil's open. So when you pull the weeds, they just come right out of the soil. Oh, very nice. Okay. You know, We've there's so, so many A couple tools. of guys yeah. with some weed questions and I think, right now. I think this is what they need. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. That, that is what we need. You know, I've been listening to this and I'm like, we have got such a problem with weeds. You know, up at the cottage, we've got this huge hill. Yeah. And it's just become so bushy. We wanted it to be bushy and natural, but it's gone wild. And we actually, hand on heart, we don't know what are the weeds and what are the things that are worth keeping. Right. Yeah. So first off, a weed is an undesirable plant. If so, if something looks like you don't like it and you don't like the way it looks, it, it's a weed. It's time to get rid of it. Right. Secondly, <laughs> there are invasive weeds. So say, for instance, so some of the weeds up there, leaves of three. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of that? Leaves of three, you Scottish boys? Yeah, mm -hmm. leaves okay. of three. Okay, here in Ontario, <laughs> if it's leaves of three, you let it be. Okay. Four or more, oh. you can eat some more, right? Oh, nice. Leaves of three are always usually poison ivy, especially up in cottage country. Right. Mm -hmm. And with poison ivy, if you get it anywhere, remember, even if you burn poison ivy, say you burn that hill, it'll go airborne, you breathe it in, it'll cause oh, a whole okay. bunch of problems. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, yeah. so these so, are good answers. I'm going to let you guys keep talking. I'm okay. just going to yeah. show you this amazing tool that yeah, I brought. A, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> That's just a weed whacker from Ryobi, 40 volt, volt, and that there is the most fun that you can have on a weekend. It is weed fun, whacker. everybody. Weed Thanks yep. for joining us on